here with Dr. Romano to do a video on electrochemistry. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products, as well as the author of the Dr. Destroyer book. I want to go over a quick question with you on electrochemistry. It's a sure bad question to land. So come in and let's have a look. <clears throat> now, it says consider a solution of CrCl3. How many coulombs would be needed to electroplate 35 grams of chromium by passing an electric current through a solution? And part B, name CrCl3. Why don't we do part B first? Since chromium is a transition element, I'm going to use Roman numerals because um, it can have multiple oxidation states. Chromium can be plus two, plus three, plus six. If you remember, chlorine has a minus one charge normally. So if there's three of them, that would put this at a minus three, so this would be a plus three. So we would get chromium three chloride. All right, now let's get back to the main question. What we're going to do is we're going to be electroplating um, a compound um, and we're going to take CrCl3. So what I do is I zap this with electricity, zap, and it breaks up into chromium plus 3 plus 3Cl minus. And then as you can see, we want to make chromium metal, so you need three electrons to reduce <clears throat> chromium plus 3 to metallic chromium. Now, before we start the problem, the data is going to give you a conversion. And I'll put it over here that one mole of electrons is what we call a Faraday. And a Faraday is equal to approximately 96,500 coulombs. Don't memorize it. We'll give it to you. We're going to start with the given. There's 35 grams, and we're going to first convert it into moles. So one mole of chromium is 52 grams, and that will cancel out grams. Then you have a mole of chromium here, and here's the conversion factor. There's three moles of electrons for every mole of chromium, and that would cross out the word chromium, mole of chromium. And then finally, 96,500 coulombs per mole, and moles cancel out, and we're left with coulombs. Now, to hit this on the dot at lightning speed, watch what I do. 35 times 3 is a little more than 100. So I'm just going to I'm just going to equate this to approximately 100. 96 500 oh bullshit 96 500 call it 100,000. 52 call it 50. So I reduce this now into something that's very easy. Now 100 over 50 is 2. So it becomes 2 times 100,000 which is 200,000 or if you put the decimal here, one, two, three, four, five, you get two to the fifth coulombs. I hope this helps on doing a problem that's a standard problem. This is nothing more than a garden variety question, but hopefully you can see the setup and you can see how I clobbered the math. It'd be very simple for the DAT exam. All right, I hope this helps. I'll see you in study group. If you got any questions, hit me up. Bye-bye.